Well, hello. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. Welcome to the exciting world of flying, brought to you by Microsoft Flight Simulator 2000. You'll be using the same skills we've taught to pilots throughout the world. In fact, many pilots use Microsoft Flight Simulator to help with their training and to keep proficient. So let's go fly. Well, as you can see, we're starting right in the cockpit. You know, flying is always fun, but with Flight Simulator, you have the added thrill of flying the aircraft of your dreams. I mean, where else am I going to get a chance to fly a Concorde? But I've got a little more experience in the Cessna 182, so I'll pick that. Now, we're at MIGS Field in Chicago, and I'm all fixed up with the ultimate joystick, the Microsoft Sidewinder Force Feedback Pro, and it's got all sorts of neat controls. Now, since we're close to downtown Chicago, let's look around. I'll just move the hat here forward and to the left, and ooh, what a cool view of downtown Chicago. Now, to look straight ahead again, I just released the button. You know, I can fly tour from any of 20,000 airports. Let's fly over New York City. Now we can take off from Teterboro Airport. Okay, so now we're in a Cessna 182 at Teterboro. I'll press Control E for engine to start the engine. I'll put 10 degrees of flap down for the takeoff. Just roll in full power. Pull the trigger to release the brakes. A hot dog, we're on our way. Wow, I can even feel the bumps on the runway in the joystick here. I can steer on the ground by twisting the stick left and right. As the speed increases to about 60, I'll pull back on the stick a little to bring the nose up just slightly and start climbing. Oops, my airspeed's dropping. That means the nose came up a little too high here. I'll pull the flaps up. I'll move the stick to the right to put the airplane on the right bank. And we're headed for New York City. Well, John has fun flying. Let me show you some things that can help you get the most out of Flight Simulator. By the way, if you don't see these menus, you can get them at any time by pressing the Alt key. First, in the Options menu, there are some handy things that let you customize or adjust how Flight Simulator performs and also how Flight Simulator looks. Next, go to the Aircraft menu and choose the Kneeboard. In the Kneeboard, you'll find checklists to help you fly the airplane. And the Key Commands section will give you the keyboard commands to use if your joystick doesn't have all the buttons that John's does. Now, let's go to the Flights menu. To plan a cross-country trip, choose the Flight Planner. When you get there, let's load the flight plan from Chicago to Frederick, Maryland, the home of the Aircraft Owners and Pilots Association. Of course, you can also create your own flight plans. When you're done there, now let's go to the World menu and click on Weather. As you know, pilots always check the weather before they take off. You can do that too. Just select Real World Weather and Flight Simulator downloads actual weather reports from the web. Flight Simulator generates the current conditions automatically and integrates them into your flight. Or, if you don't like today's real weather, you can create your own. Clouds, winds, rain, even low visibility. You get the idea. Flight Sim has lots of fun things that you can do. And again, if you have questions about any instrument, control, or procedure, just click on Help. There's a wealth of information there. Or check the pilot's handbook. But now, let's go back and see how John is doing. John, you just about crashed into the Empire State Building. Hey, that would be cool. Folks, have fun in your flying, and by all means, please. Stay out of the trees. 